Hey guys, it's Fonsky here, and today we're back in Euro Truck Sim 2, checking out Truck Sim Map 5.3, or TSM as it's better known. This has just been updated to work with update 1.14, which is why I'm taking a look at it, and I've never played this map before, so uh, I don't really know much about it. I know that it's a massive map expansion. Let's actually bring up the game map. You can see I'm down here in Rabat, or however you pronounce that. Um, I can't actually zoom out any further, unfortunately, but if we go up around here, this is the main map that we're all used to. It looks like there's some new cities there that I don't recognise, uh, up in the middle of Europe as well. This is Rust Map 1.4, which has also been updated, so that is a thing that exists and works. <laughs> um, but yeah, look, I mean, look how many cities we got. We got like Italy down here, Greece over here, uh, Egypt, Libya you know, all the way up, I guess that's north, northern tip of Africa or something, I don't know, geography, uh, not exactly my strong set. Um, but yeah, it's it's pretty cool, I and mean, you can see that it looks like I've travelled through here before, I actually haven't, um, I'm using my downloaded profile, and I guess the, whoever had the profile, whoever created that, had used Troxim Map, TSM, um, so yeah, anyway, so I've got a job selected, let's drive to that. Uh, you can see the truck I'm using is the Peterbilt 379, it's not the 389, um, as I adjust track IR a little bit here. See, so yeah, this is the 379, it's a um, fairly new mod, this specific one, let me bring up my thingy. And, um, ooh, loud engine. See, so yeah, you guys who watch my, a bunch of my videos know that I probably like the 389. Um, a lot. So I thought I'd check this one out when I saw it, and it's pretty cool. It's um, it's not very customizable this truck, so I'm not going to show customization or anything. There's not a lot of options, but there is a wide range of engine options and three different engine noises, uh, which is pretty awesome. So obviously there's going to be links to these uh, these mods in the video description. So check those out if you are interested. But yeah, I really like the engine noise of this truck, which is why I'm using it. Got the 18-speed uh, gearbox in it as well, which is pretty cool. Although this 18-speed uh, is a bit different to um, other ones that I've used. If you actually look, once I shift down into first uh, first gear, it looks like it has two crawler gears rather than actually being first and second. So it kind of goes, put it up there. Uh, you see, it's in L or LL then L. And then you go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, so on and so forth. So it actually tops out at 16 instead of 18, but you still get the 18 gears, basically. But yeah, so let's go pick up this job. I don't think it's a very long drive. Um, hopefully the job will still be here. Should be. I probably want to go left here. If my frame rate feels like helping, that would be nice. Alright, what do we got? I can't even remember what I'm doing. That's right, I'm doing a per -fluff 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 ram. Uh, it's 28 tons, 288 kilometers. That won't take too long. Uh, what's this? Nah, let's do this one. Alright. So we'll pick this up and we'll see where we where the road takes us. Cause yeah, I've got I've got no idea about this map. Um, Basically, I mean, I've seen, I think I've seen a couple of videos of it over the years, but, um, I hope I went the right way. But yeah, I've never driven it, I've never really seen much of the countryside or anything like that, so, this could be interesting. Let's take a look on the outside. What have we got? Oh, God, that's long. That's interesting. Put our beacons on for added safety. Alright, well, this could be interesting. I didn't realise that was so long at the back. Get some outside noise. Oh, I can't help myself, I love the loud engine noises. Alright, back into the cabin. 
So 288 kilometers probably won't take too long. Uh, this truck can get up to speed pretty quickly. Can't remember what size engine I've got in it, but it's by no seriously. You decide you're gonna let me go, and then you decide not to. Thanks, Euro Truck AI. You wonder why nobody likes you. See, it's a nice looking map uh, from what I've seen of it so far. The textures and stuff uh, for the buildings may be slightly lower quality than what you get in some of the other maps, but there's so much of it that, um, and what am I doing? I completely messed up my gears there. That was a massive fail on my part. Still, it's not exactly liking this hill. But yeah, the, some of the texture quality and stuff might be a little bit lower than you see in some of the other maps, but there's so much of it, like, it's such a big expansion to the map, like, personally, the texture quality doesn't bother me at all. Um, yeah, because I mean, just, the amount of stuff that you get just kind of makes up for it, I think. But yeah, it's pretty cool. And this engine is really loud. It's not as loud as one of the other ones that you can get in this um, truck, though. It's actually why I chose this one. Because um, the other one has a really loud turbo whistle. And the trailer's actually lifting up there a bit. There we go. So yeah, the, uh, the other engine choice, well there's, there's three engine choices. The, uh, one of them is, I think, the same engine that you get in the Peterbilt 389, or one of them that's available for that engine, I don't know. But then there's two of the brand new, so this is one of the brand new ones, and um, the other one, like I said, just has a really loud turbo whistle. Now, I've talked about that before, it's, I mean, even if it's true to life, and I, I can believe that it is, the problem is that, um, you're just constantly hearing it, and for me it's a bit much. Uh, it's pretty cool. Roadworks happening. So we're almost up into top gear already. Um, it'll top out at 16th gear like I said earlier. But I think it'll... I think I've had this truck up at about 150 kilometers per hour before. I'm not sure how good it'll get on these roads though. Interesting scenery. So, um, I want to go into third person view, but at the same time, if when I I want to go into that camera that I always crash in, because <laughs> it looks awesome, but it's hard to drive while you're in there, and with so much traffic around, I don't really want to actually crash. Let's uh, let's go for it. And that's not it. There it is. Stop! 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 Right. At least we get another acceleration view. Ah, uh, that's so cool. I love these trucks. And this looks like a hell of a traffic jam. It's probably something with an oversized trailer. Um, I think some of the some of the modded trailers just cause traffic problems, basically. Yeah, let's, uh, let's see what happens. If I have to, I'll just kind of duck down the side here. Yeah. Unfortunately, you just got to do this sometimes. I'm not sure what the problem is, but the game can't handle it. Uh, it's that oversized trailer. I believe. Yeah, you know, stick my head out the window. I don't know. These intersections cause problems sometimes. Doesn't matter. God, look at it. Look at that. That's pretty cool.
seem like we're going up a bit of a hill here. Yeah, that's um doesn't necessarily look like a lot of a hill from inside the cab, but it's pretty steep. Still, making it happen. I just realised I don't actually have a lot of fuel. Hopefully I've got enough. That should be fine. There's, actually, there's a station right here. I suppose I can fill up there. That'll work. So, according to the patch notes for this release, uh, there hasn't actually been any new cities added to TSM. Um, I mean, to be honest, even if there had been, I wouldn't have noticed it myself. As I've said a few times, I've never played this before. But I guess if you're... You know, if you've been using this for a while, then you're not going to see anything new, I guess. Um, this is more of a compat compatibility patch, I think, just to make sure that it works with 1.14. So that's all good. I mean, looking at the number of cities this has, I don't know why you'd need them anymore anyway. Oh, there's air noises. Alright, let's fill up here. Not even sure how big the tank on this truck is. Probably close to a thousand litres, I guess. Oh, I'll put 500 in. Should last for a while. Notice the uh, GPS screen flicks up and everything when you start the truck up. That's pretty cool. One thing that I really like about this truck, um, compared to the 389 mod, is that if you've used the 389, you'll know that it has that little fly thing that comes up like right in front of your view and just buzzes around and I guess um I guess that was like intended to be a bit of a joke or something but it, at the end of the day it just becomes more annoying than anything else and uh thankfully this truck doesn't have that I mean it's kind of unfortunate that this truck doesn't have as much customization as the version of the 389 that I use because I like being able to customize it a lot but I don't know the engine noises are awesome um not having that annoying fly thing is awesome. I think it might actually be slightly better in terms of performance. I'm not quite sure why, but my frame rate just does seem a bit better driving this truck than driving that 389. But maybe that's just me. See, so yeah, it's a pretty it's a pretty cool truck mod. It's got metallic paints as well. If uh, if that's a big deal for you. There we go. Up into top gear. Now we just cruise along. It's really nice uh, scenery and everything. I like having a slight like driving through a big valley. Jeez, fast enough to overtake that. And then he slams on the brakes. Of course he does. Traffic jam. I really hope they do proper 18 speed gearboxes in American trucks here. I mean, I, I'm doing fine. I use a uh, a mod that it gives me like basically two splitters, uh, so that I, that's why I'm using the 18 speeds in this game. But hopefully, uh, FCS will do some proper support for it. I guess in American truck sim, because they do still use uh, the kind of old school shifting setups and everything in the States. And in Australia as well, I should add, because we use a lot of the same sort of technology. As opposed to in Europe, where it's mostly either automatics or... I think, um, well, I don't know, clutchless manuals or something? I don't know. Getting into the territory of talking about something that I know nothing about, so let's, uh, let's move away from that. Am I actually caught on something, or is this just going really slow? Uh, yeah. This seems like a good screenshot thumbnail opportunity. I think. Let me, uh, let me do that real quick. Alright, there we go. Have to stop everything for a decent screenshot. It's, uh, God, look at this hill. I only just noticed that. Seems like we're climbing the whole way up um, this drive. 
Hopefully we'll make it up there without too much difficulty. I'd imagine it's going to be pretty slow going. But... That's not as bad as I thought it was actually. I thought it was a lot steeper than it actually was. Still going to have to shift down I'd imagine. Maybe. Maybe not. Oh, that's fine. And now we're going downhill. I actually hit the brakes so I don't roll going around this corner. Don't particularly want to roll or go into the guardrail, one or the other. God, what's, what is it with this road? Our truck is struggling a bit. There we go. Oops. It's been a uh, little while since I played this game, I guess. I keep forgetting how to actually change gears. <laughs> there we go. That's better. So yeah, so it's a really impressive map so far. I mean, people who have watched uh, a bunch of my videos before know that I generally play with uh, Pro Mods rather than TSM. But Pro Mods hasn't been updated, and I saw that this one has, so I thought I'd give it a try. I'm still going to use Pro Mods for my main profile, I guess. But this is nice to uh, have a play around with, I think. It's pretty cool. I wish even more now that there was some way of joining the two of them together so you could have it like all of it in one big map with Rust map as well. That'd be awesome. But unfortunately, no such luck. Although you never know, depending on what happens with um with this new northern expansion that SCS is doing, maybe um maybe you'll end up having that instead of frameworks or something. I don't know. It's nice and slow here. Just went, went onto the grass a little bit with the trailer, but no big deal. So one thing you might have noticed with this truck as well, is that uh, when you actually hit the engine brake button, you get an icon in the, on the dash. You see that there? I think this is the only truck that I've seen that actually does that. I mean, I know some of them have, um, I've seen some trucks that have like a, a little switch on the dash that actually works when you press the engine brake button, which is pretty cool. Um, but I don't think I've seen one that actually lights up on the dash before. That's an interesting little touch, I guess. It'd be nice if um, they actually did like a proper engine brake simulation. Again, this would have to be American truck sim, I guess. I don't even know if they really, if you European truckers really use engine brakes, or if they just go with retarders. But, um, I think the way it works in the US, at least on the kind of American trucks, is that it's, to it's a toggle. So, oops. So you, um, you, you know, you would toggle it on to one of a couple different settings or something, and then it would just come on automatically when you braked, and then you can turn it off again or something. I don't know. I'm not a truck driver, I'm not an expert on this sort of thing. I think that's how it would work. I mean, I guess you have the option for doing that, kind of, because there's a setting in the game that allows for automatic engine braking. Um, so I guess that means it would use the engine brakes in combination with the normal brakes, if you had that turned on. I don't know. Not really sure. I haven't actually, I, I pretty much turn all the automatic stuff off, so I don't even know how it really works. Let's, uh, let's get around this corner, then we'll go for an outside view again. Let's, let's see a bit more of the scenery from the outside view, I think. There we go. Let's see how long we can go before I crash. Probably not very long. There's a tunnel coming up here.
Alright, there we go, cool. I've managed to use that view twice now without crashing, it's amazing. So, 93 kilometers to go. Um, if we can maintain this speed, that won't take very long. I've got no idea what the uh, pickup and delivery points are like on this map. I don't know if they've got some difficult ones or if it's all kind of the normal stuff. Um, I really haven't seen any of that. I think picking up this trailer was easy enough. That was a pretty basic point. I think it was one of the normal ones that you get just in the vanilla game. But yeah, I guess we'll uh, just have to see that. I know that, um, I don't do it again. I know that Hungry Map had some, um, interesting ones. Like really tight sort of squeezes to get into. So this one might have the same sort of thing. Or it might not. I have no idea. We're losing all of our speed again. So sort of a little village or something over there. That's cool. It's all those sorts of touches that make it feel like more of a kind of real world, I guess. I mean, you see some games that it's like, yes, you're driving across this massive open world, but there's absolutely nothing out there around you. Like, even little things like just a small village that you can't actually get into, but at least you can kind of see it's there. It's uh, better than nothing at all, I think. There's another one. It's interesting, I mean, I haven't seen um, a full-size, like, freeway, motorway sort of thing yet on this map. To be fair, I've played it for, like, well, what I've played of it is what you guys have seen of it, so I'm sure there's a few of those around. But it's not, it doesn't seem to be like, you know, with um, just the normal game, or even with ProMod, it's, um, because ProMod feels a lot like the normal game in a lot of ways, whereas this does feel a little bit different, I guess. But, you know, you spend a lot of time just driving on big, wide-open freeways, motorways. So it's kind of nice being able to cruise along the back roads, I guess. Even though I don't think you can probably go as fast, like, just because of the, the twists in the roads and the elevation changes and everything, like, you drive on those motorways, you can just cruise at 130 the whole way, or faster, if you choose. Yeah, I mean, I'm only doing 90 at the moment, which is the speed limit for, for the trucks along here, I guess, but even so. <laughs> I think I'm still climbing slightly. It's, it does look like it. Um, and, I mean, that would make sense given the fact that I'm not actually picking up much speed. It definitely looks like it, and, like, it's, the road is climbing up a bit here. But it's all good. So, 20 kilometers away. We must be coming close to this, uh, whatever the next city is. I can't remember where we're actually taking this thing. To Meknes? Meknes? I don't know. No idea. There you go, you can actually see it on the GPS right now. So that's cool. Probably have to get ready to start slowing down soon, I guess. Oh, shoot, I'm turning right here. Somehow managed to pull that up in time. Look at all the uh, palm trees and everything. Alright, so that's the John Deere, that's where I'm delivering it to, so I guess I'm taking a left here. That's the entrance there. Let's just cut across this guy. There's a scanning agility there. So, where am I dropping it off? Over here. So, which spot is it? Is it the one that I have to. Okay, it's this one. 
Um, okay. I'll just turn around in here. And I got stuck on something. It's not what I wanted. It's still kind of clipping on it a little bit. Uh, whatever. Let's just try and chuck a Yui here. Probably have to uh, jackknife the truck a little bit. Might get the trailer really close to the side of it if I want to do a proper turn. Yeah, I don't think. Yeah. That was never going to work. I might be able to make that work though. Of course, the nose of this truck means that I'm going to get stuck on the truck. What is going on there? Okay. It looks a lot worse from inside the truck than it does from outside. How not to drive a truck. Alright, uh, that might be good enough. That may not be though. Problem is, I keep forgetting how long it is at the back. Apparently, that's good enough. I could leave it there if I wanted to. Don't really want to. Yeah. It's got that really long thing at the back of it, which uh, makes it a bit more difficult. I might regret not have ta having taken that. Apparently, that's uh, that's good enough to be parked. What's my handbrake button? That is. Well, whatever. I'll take it, I guess. I guess it's because of that really crazy long thing at the back that it's uh, it's allowing it to be parked there, basically. Given how much longer the trailer is than normal. Alright, well, let's, uh, let's do that. The f f f f f ram delivered. Cool. Awesome. Well. Well, there you go. That's uh, that's TSM. At least a very small part of it. Uh, it's pretty cool. So if you have updated to 1.14 and you were waiting for this, it's here. Here it is. You can download it and go check it out. That's, uh, that's really cool. I think I'll be spending a lot, me a lot more time on this, especially while I'm waiting for ProMod to be updated. And look at all this stuff there is to check out. It's pretty awesome. So yeah, I think I'll, uh, I think I'll end this video here. So like I said earlier, uh, links to the truck mod and the map will be in the video description. So check that out if you're interested but yeah so until next time i've been Bosco. i enjoyed the video and thanks for watching